What is the true long-term cost difference between the Toyota Camry versus the Tesla Model 3? In this video, we will discuss the 5 and 10 year true running cost of these two vehicles and also talk about the break even point as well. I'm Jonathan Stewart and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Here at the beginning, I think it's important to talk about the efficiency of the two vehicles because those are the numbers we're going to be using to calculate the fuel cost. So the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus is a vehicle we'll be using for this comparison, and that is Tesla's most efficient vehicle as well as the most efficient electric vehicle on the market currently. The EPA has rated it at 141 miles per gallon equivalent. The other car we'll be using for comparison is the 2020 Toyota Camry SE, which has a combined city highway miles per gallon rating of 32. The purchase price of a modestly equipped Toyota Camry SE is right around $28,405. The 2020 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus, after you add delivery and destination charges, comes in right around $41,190. So the question is, how many years will it take to cover the $12,785 price difference? So first of all, I want to examine the five-year true cost of driving a Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. This is assuming 12,000 miles per year, so five years, 60,000 miles. And we're also assuming the national average of 12 cents per kilowatt hour of electricity. So at a 7.5% sales tax rate, your sales tax number for the Tesla would be somewhere around $3,089. Energy should cost you somewhere around $1,728 for this five-year period. This is assuming charging at home at that $0.12 cents per kilowatt rate. Insurance should cost you around $6,000 for this five-year period. Now, this $1,200 per year rate is actually two rates that I received both from State Farm and GEICO, and they both came in at this exact amount for a Tesla Model 3. So these are actual numbers that I've pulled from actual insurance companies. According to bankrate.com, at a 4% interest rate, it would cost you around $4,325 in financing cost if you did 100% financing of the Tesla vehicle. In general, there's not a lot of maintenance to do on the Tesla Model 3. That being said, during the 60,000 miles, it would be necessary to replace the tires, and Tesla does recommend a 25,000 mile service that does come in somewhere around $425. In general, repairs should be minimal for the Tesla Model 3, but I have put $500 in there to cover any basic needs. Any major costs would be covered under warranty. And although the Tesla Model 3 is not five years old, I did pull information from Autolist.com that estimated the depreciation of a Tesla Model 3 at 60,000 miles should be somewhere around a 34% depreciation number, and that would give us a depreciation loss of $14,004. So with these assumed numbers, after five years, the Tesla Model 3 would end up costing you right around $31,246. Now how does this compare to the Toyota Camry? So here are the same calculations for the Toyota Camry, of course, assuming the same five-year period, 60,000 miles, and gasoline at $2.60 per gallon. So at that same 7.5% tax rate on the purchase price, the tax would come to around $2,130. With the EPA ratings and $2.60 a gallon, you would see somewhere around $4,875 in fuel costs. Going off similar rates that I have received in the past for insurance, it should be right around $1,000 a year or $5,000 of insurance for this five-year period. Once again, according to bank rate, if you did a five-year loan at 4% interest, you would pay somewhere around $2,982 in financing costs. When you factor in maintenance schedules, oil changes, tires, brakes, and fluid exchanges, you should see somewhere around $2,000 of maintenance in this five-year period. In general, Toyota makes a very reliable car, and I don't see much more than $600 of out-of-warranty repairs during this five-year period of time. To get the depreciation number, I simply pulled up the data for a 2015 Toyota Camry and compared the value of what Kelly Blue Book says it's worth now versus the purchase price, and it should depreciate somewhere right around 45%. So at 45% depreciation for the Toyota Camry after five years, it should be a loss of about $12,802 during this period of time. So after five years, your true cost is somewhere around $30,389 during this period of time. 
So here's what the total cost of ownership looks like in five years for the two vehicles. For the Toyota Camry, $30,389. For the Tesla Model 3, $31,246. So after five years, we have nearly reached a break-even point, just $857 away from break-even, making up almost all of the $12,000 difference in the purchase price. According to Kelly Blue Book, assuming a 45% depreciation, in five years, the Camry should be worth about $15,600, whereas the Tesla Model 3, assuming a 34% depreciation going off the auto list data, the Tesla Model 3, after five years, should be worth around $27,185. So now let's talk about the 10-year true cost of the Tesla Model 3. So when doing this comparison, two of these numbers have not changed from the five-year period of time. The first one is the sales tax. Obviously, that is a fixed amount. The second is the financing cost because I did these calculations for a five-year loan. So after five years, the loan was paid off, and so that interest rate, of course, would not go up. I estimate that after 10 years, the Tesla Model 3 will still retain somewhere around 40% of its value. So at a 60% depreciation rate in 10 years, you will have lost an estimated $24,714 of value, giving you the total cost of $52,284 in this 10-year period of time. Here are the numbers for the Toyota Camry for a 10-year ownership. Once again, the sales tax numbers and the financing numbers are fixed costs and they have not changed from the five-year estimate. And the depreciation number, based on what the 2010 Toyota Camry is worth today versus when it was purchased, you should lose somewhere around 80% of your value. So at 80% depreciation on a Toyota Camry, in 10 years you will have lost somewhere around $22,724 of value, giving you a total cost of ownership in 10 years at $54,086. So looking at the total cost of ownership in 10 years, the Camry would end up costing you right around $54,086, whereas the Tesla Model 3 would end up costing you around $52,284. This is about an $1,800 variance between the two vehicles. So you can see that after 10 years, you have definitely more than made up for the $12,000 plus price difference. What about beyond 10 years, the really long-term longevity between the two vehicles? I pulled this chart from Test Loop, which has a fleet of Teslas that they rent out, and they have a number of really high mileage vehicles. And they wrote a really good article talking about the depreciation of an electric vehicle versus a gas vehicle. And the point of this graph was showing that for the average gas vehicle, somewhere around 200,000 miles plus, the vehicle, because of engine wear, transmission wear, etc., virtually becomes worth almost nothing. So there are a few vehicles that can go longer than 200,000, but in general, there's major repairs needed at 200,000 miles. They have multiple Teslas in their fleet, well over 200,000 miles, and one that's over 400,000 miles. So because the Tesla powertrain and battery is designed to last quite a bit longer than a standard gas-burning vehicle, the vehicle still has more value retained after the 200,000 mile mark. In the spring of last year, Elon Musk tweeted this, the Model 3 drive unit and body is designed like a commercial truck for a million mile life. Current battery modules should last 300,000 to 500,000 miles or 1,500 cycles. Replacing modules will only cost between $5,000 to $7,000. Also in October of 2018, Elon Musk posted this picture of a Model 3 motor and gearbox after driving 1 million miles. So what's the conclusion of all this? Even a more expensive car like the Model 3 can reach a break-even point in somewhere around five years. The average gas-burning vehicle, even a reliable brand like Toyota, will have major engine and transmission problems when you get too far past 200,000 miles. Whereas the new 2170 batteries in the Tesla Model 3 should be good for 300 to 500,000 miles, and the powertrain is designed for 1 million miles. In the short term, the Camry might seem like it's a lot cheaper, but the low running cost of a Tesla allow it to make up more than the $12,000 difference in purchase price. Also, once cost parity is achieved with electric vehicles, there will be no contest. EVs will easily win, even after year one. Now, as we close the video, obviously, cost savings are not the only reason to drive an electric vehicle. Of course, it is to reduce the CO2 emissions and to help combat climate change. 
The reason I put out this video was to show that even a gas-burning vehicle will end up costing about the same as a more expensive Tesla when you actually take into account all the true costs. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button so other people can find it as well. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you'll know when new content is posted regularly. Also, if you subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new content is posted. Thank you so much.